I'm in the archives of the Royal Society in London and unusually for one of our videos I've got a guest here and the guest is Michael from the YouTube channel Vsauce and I've never seen it but Brad is really keen on it and perhaps afterwards I'll watch one or two of his videos. Yeah, give us some more views. That'd, that'd be awesome. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure. Maybe you could even subscribe. Perhaps. What I wanted to do was to show Michael something that I think is really quite interesting and which soon is going to be completely unnecessary. What we've got here are standard weights. This one here is the standard pound. For those of you who are watching in other countries outside England, a pound is just under 460 grams. Here you can see it says standard pound 1855. And inside here is a glass container and inside that is the standard pound. Now have a look at this Mike, put out your hand so you can feel there. Yeah. And the pound itself is labelled 1844. So it took them 11 years to make this box. And <laughs> the um, idea of a standard weight is that you have a weight that's a reference. So if you have a pound weight on your balance, you can bring it here and see whether it weighs the same as this standard. Now, of course, when it was really the standard, you wouldn't be able to touch it because as soon as you touched it, then the grease off your fingers would change the weight. Especially your greasy fingers, Mike. Yeah, yes. they're not letting me touch it, except no. that one little time. We're not quite sure what this one is made out of, but there's another one here which is slightly different. Oh, I love this kind of stuff. I actually, the first time I ever came to London, I ran to Trafalgar Square, first place I went to go to see the foot. They have a, I think it also has a yard, uh, correct? Yes. And it's, it's made out of metal and it's embedded into this wall. And at a particular temperature, it's an exact foot. If you ever said, hey, I, I built this new type of ruler, I want to make sure I did it right, yeah. you would take it to that location. So a foot is 30 and a half centimeters for those of you who understand only modern units. I'm liking this English-American kind of metric thing going on here. Well, what's funny is that I'm sitting here and I use feet and inches every day in America, yeah. but yet if I want to go see where the exact definitions of them yeah. are, I have to go to England. Yeah. This one here is labeled the Royal Society's Troy Pound. The Troy Pound is a slightly different pound. It is used for measuring the weights of precious metals. And in here, there's rather a beautiful brass cylinder, yeah. can you see? And this one undoes. There's another part inside. It's like a Russian doll. And inside that is a lump of platinum. That's pure platinum. Yes. But they've thought about the problem of us holding it with our fingers. So there's a fork, so we can lift it up. Wow. So now. If I hold it, you can hold the fork. Yeah. And so this one is made out of platinum, and platinum is a very stable metal, doesn't react with air at room temperature, so it stays shiny and you don't need to worry, but you still mustn't touch it. What do you reckon that's weighing? Um, about, I'd say one troy ounce. <laughs> I'm really good at this kind of yeah. stuff. No, it's a troy pound. pound. Uh, <laughs> even when I'm holding the very scientific definition yes. of it, I get it wrong. <laughs> don't worry. All right, just don't put this up on YouTube. Yeah. But what's really interesting is that although there still is a standard kilo, which is kept in Paris, very soon we won't need it anymore because experiments are being done to measure the weight of silicon atoms. A group in Russia have made a very pure sample of the isotope of silicon called silicon-29. And then another group in Australia has grown a big crystal which has been machined into a sphere, a round ball. And they can measure the size of this ball very accurately. And using X-rays, they can measure the separation between the layers of atoms with a bit of calculation they can work out 
pretty accurately the number of atoms inside this ball. And when they weigh the ball, they then know how much the atoms weigh. And so, in the end, we will be able to define weight not in terms of the weight of um, a piece of metal, but the weight of a number of atoms. In the end, the fundamental constant will probably not be the kilo, but Avogadro's number, that is, the number of atoms in 29 grams of silicon-29. Do you agree? Why does silicon-29 get to be so special? I think because it is, I don't know, but I guess it's first of all because you can get pure silicon-29, and then you can make a ball that is very stable okay. and isn't going to lose atoms while you're weighing it and things like that. The trouble is, this feels really good. This is science in action, and you can understand this. But a ball of silicon locked away somewhere is not as exciting. Okay, well, that's a wrap. Let's go home. Okay.